Yep. So I'm thankful to be alive and uh, healthy, pretty healthy, especially for my age and especially for what I've been through. I'm glad I'm on this side of the hospital, not on that side of the hospital. I think about times like how I was once upon a time trapped in this hospital with tubes going down my nose and up my wee wah also known as a vagina <laughs> um, with um, in, in excruciating pain with a complete bowel obstruction and they kind of just left me lying there at their mercy at the mercy of God and whoever else and my ex-husband's lawyer and my ex-husband and Laura Rodello, head of the DHS department over here, who doesn't know what parental alienation syndrome is and how it develops, I guess. I guess it's organic. Which makes sense, because I'm not really a big junk food fan. I prefer organic food as often as I can eat it. It's healthier for you, from what I learned while going to the University of Oregon, and from what my dad told me as a little girl. I'm so healthy, I healed up lickety-split 10 days after a hysterectomy. I healed up so much, I just went and had a complete bowel obstruction. <laughs> I'm so healthy, I popped out eight babies and just got right back to work each time. Hardly rested at all. I'm so healthy that um, I can still smile after being tackled to the street in a fun game called I'm Gonna Fuck You Up, <laughs> played by a woman on drugs looking for a victim, <laughs> a random victim. Now, she happened to have darker skin than me, but I don't think it was any kind of a racial thing because she was just on drugs. I think I could have been anybody. She was out of her mind. She wasn't, uh, she, was, she didn't even remember that night. So I'm sure she was just, her brain was stripped down to that of a homicidal maniac. <laughs> and so, nowadays when people tell me that I'm a liar, or I'm crazy, or they don't like me for whatever reason because they're Christians or they're having a bad day or they're grumpy or whatever they just you know I take responsibility for my own issues my own story and how I have experienced life and it's no one's fault that I'm still alive <laughs> and it's no one's fault that I'm not dead and it's no one's fault that I um, am a survivor of rape and a 20-year marriage with a narcissist who has some uh, unusual phobias and fears and behaviors and uh, doesn't seem to like women or me. And when I was married to him, didn't seem to like his mother or his sister-in-law who he said raped him. Um, it's like what goes around comes around. And uh, I love most people. I do, I love most people. I love life. Um, life can be hard sometimes and scary. And you kind of have to watch cars and make sure people are gonna actually stop. Some people don't stop because they're not paying attention or something. Oh yeah, I also survived um, three car accidents in my lifetime. Four, uh, four car accidents in my lifetime. And then a few near misses. I won't call any fender bender bumper things that just bump, you know, I won't call that an accident. Even though that's an accident. But I mean, four, three big ones and some minor ones. Two, put me in spin outs. One, and, and totaled um, 
the vans. Uh, one total van didn't put any skin out, but it gave me a whiplash injury. And that took about a whole year to heal up from. I still have to watch my neck. <sighs> but, throughout that healing process, I was able to get in touch with some of my anger and rage and some of the suppressed memories that I was trying to get away from and forget about. And then all of a sudden, they all came rushing back and things started making better sense. Um, <laughs> most Christians, not all, maybe, I don't know, but most Christians are delusional and hypocritical. And they will want to feel good about themselves as they point fingers at everyone else. And they're often better than you. And they're often delusional, especially if they're charismatic faith healers. Now, I do walk by faith. I do have faith. Faith is like having a vision of the future, even though it's not here yet. So by faith, I believe that I will get to see my grandkids someday and my children again someday, even though today I get to see one of them graduate over the internet and I'm excited because he was struggling in school and just to think that he's graduating is an achievement. Now this is coming from a woman who dropped out of school more times than I can remember because I'm more of an independent researcher. I like to be more independent. I started seeing through the pyramid schemes in uh, higher education too. How some rich people can buy their children's way into a school. Uh-huh. And how some first ladies can plagiarize speeches and get away with it and not get punished for plagiarizing. I thought that was against the law. But I guess when you have enough money, you're above the law. Kind of like Trump. And I know all about Trump cards. And the only way you can Trump Trump is to try. I know about trinities and triangles and triads and tricycles. And Trump looks like an angry baby riding on his tricycle, causing people's death. So that helps me put my ex-husband, who looks a lot like Trump and acts a lot like Trump, into better perspective. Uh, thank God my ex-husband is not running the world and he doesn't have a whole lot of money. <laughs> he just acts like he runs the world from his little control tower where he probably is sitting in a recliner chair. <laughs>